Let's get to it. Tyree Kill. Oh. Did you see what he did? The internet sure did. Tyree Kill ran a 60. He actually finally got into a track race. He's been talking a lot of shit to all the <laughs> Star Trek runners, even to Bolt himself. Gets out there. So I respect him. He put back on the track spikes. He put on his Juco singlet, and mm -hmm. he runs 670. And when you run 670 up on, against a bunch of plumbers and welders, <laughs> which is the 25 to 29-year-old Masters track and field 60 meter field. Do you, do you even have enough guys to fill a whole field of eight? There was like what five people in the well, race. So many people just found out that 25 to 29 is a master has event. a master's category. Everyone's like, wait, what? So he went 670. He looks good doing it because uh, he's running against nobodies. And let's be honest, 670 off of nine year hiatus in football muscle, it's pretty good. It, it's it's it shows it shows that he's a legit athlete. Like I don't know, you don't just walk. You out. didn't think he was a legit athlete already? Come on. Come I don't on. think I don't think uh, DK Metcalf can run six seventy. Right, because Tyree Kill's faster than DK Metcalf. Yeah, yeah. but, but like, I'm saying, okay. no, I'm just saying. Go ahead, finish your point, and then I'm gonna get really frustrated. It wasn't. It wasn't ass like he ran seven seconds. It was six seventy is good, but good is not great. And it's not amazing, which is what the media thought it was. Yeah, Amanda, bring up the uh, the ESPN article there. Just like look at how the the ESPN article was was framed. I thought it was interesting. Bleacher Report did a um, did a post to where they were like, my mind's exploding because I think they thought Masters meant like. Yeah, show the ESPN one. That's the, the sec, CBS. Yeah, the, the, the second one. The the uh, the headline is Tyreek Hill runs blazing sixty meter at USATF Masters. Blazing. Event. Yeah. All right. Here's my problem with all this. Hold on. Can I say, say other things that happened? Sports Center, when they showed the highlight, yeah. they said Tyreek Hill ran 670, just four tenths of a second off the world record. They said he ran four tenths of a second off the world record. Yeah. And then uh, there was a lot of mind explosion emojis. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, again, I think people saw the term masters and thought it meant the best, the best people at the craft, like top chef masters or something like that. Like, oh my gosh, these are the best... The best people in the world. We know how fast he is, right? He he ran a World Juniors. He ran fast times in high school, right? Went up against DeGrasse. Went up against Bromel. Could he have been even faster if he stuck with track? Yeah, sure. probably because he was young. Um, was he going to be Usain Bolt? No, probably not. Probably not. But he was fast. He was legitimately fast. So then to act like we are just discovering something new when he runs six seventy and. He ran the race, which is cool. Most people won't do that. So he, he put on the spikes. But the whole like, oh, it's so amazing. He's been doing foot. What do we, what's he training for in football? Speed. To run fast. Now he, he could lose obviously like less muscle, like he could get down and, and be faster. But everybody doing these math equations in their head of like, well, just give him two months training and he could run whatever. I'm like, if you give him two months training or three months training or six months training, he'll probably get maybe back to where he was before. When he, when he was younger and he had time. Like, we have times for this, right? We know exactly kind of where he is. I was super surprised, right, that he showed up and did it. I think everybody was. I thought it was a joke. I was like, is this April already? Yeah. Like, this is kind of crazy. But also, everyone's like, well, leave him alone. It's like, well, you talk trash to Usain Bolt, and then you enter a Masters event and run 670. People are going to talk. Your tweet, I think, summed it up perfectly. I'm going to compliment your tweet. Thanks, so, man. Track world versus NFL world on how they saw Tyreek Hill's uh, tweet. Because everybody in the track world almost universally is dumping on it. There's a few exceptions of like, hey, that's cool. Like, glad he's doing it. And everybody in the NFL world or general sports world sees the margin of victory, sees the title of the meet sees the thing like just four tenths off the world record and they don't know how to conceptualize it so they think he's he's bold yeah so i said tyreek 670 in the eyes of track twitter and then it's a picture of a javelin thrower from the 1900s and eric, eric lemming, lemming who out. actually won olympic medals but a lot of them he has a beer belly and is doesn't look like a legit athlete and then tyreek kills 670 in the eyes of nfl twitter and it's usain bolt it is it is wild when you see people now I don't like giving into like the little victim culture that track loves. It'd be like, we, we deserve more credit and all this stuff. It's more just, they're not intelligent. The NFL world is not intelligent. They don't know what real speed is. They were dumb. That's all. It was just, they were dumb. What was dumb? The, oh, the, the, the blazing yeah, 670. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get it. You're doing clickbait, but like, 
And like they just, how else are you gonna do it? They'd be like, he ran our race. Like that's not as fun to do. You want to say something fun and make all caps. The thing here's the funny part. He could have run six sixty in an NCAA open meet and got beat by three guys, and the headline would have been totally different, but he would have run a tenth faster. Yeah. It was way too predicated on margin of victory. Yeah. If, if anything. It's because it was an official event. If that was, like, in a street, yeah, the people would be like, oh, he ran up against a bunch of, like, fans. Yeah. And it wouldn't have the same... People thought he was racing against professionals. Right. Which was the DK problem. Metcalf ran against professionals, which is why I would, even though I would take Hill over Metcalf, I give Metcalf more credit yeah. because he, he laced them up. Do you think Tyreek Purpose is like, yo, they're going to think I'm racing against pros? So I'm going to go to the Masters? No, right? I don't think it was that. Also, here's what this does do I'll t there's one useful takeaway from this, and this, is, and this is what it is. When you watch now on Sunday and you see him, Tyreek Hill, blow past the defensive back and get a touchdown. You know, generally speaking, what sort of speed that equates to. It's not perfect because he's wearing pads, but also it's different types of speed, right? He didn't run 10 meters and then take a right and then take a left and then finish a 60, right? He ran 60 in a straight line. He's wearing tracks, but it's, it's, it's different, but you have at least a general idea. Hey, someone could, someone could run six, seven on the track and you put them on a football field and they look like Superman. Right? Yeah. Someone could probably run seven seconds in a 60. But and maybe like their Superman. first, but maybe their first 15 of it is incredible. Or maybe they're able to do that while missing a defender, right? All this stuff is so relative and sport specific, like when he gets out there. Um, he's not running a straight 60 in a line. But did both tweet? I'm surprised both did I do think anything. I think uh Tyreek said he's not gonna do it again. Was he was he was so that was his one time he was Yeah, so he, was he doing this just to see where he was at, and then if he was fast, he was going to keep yeah, doing it? Yeah, he probably it. saw 6-7. He's like, I don't want the Pro yeah. Promel smoke, the Coleman smoke, the Lyle smoke, the Curly I mean, smoke. Cause he, I mean, Tyreek knows that 6... Do you think Ty, Tyreek has been he talking knows, a lot? Yeah, he knows times. Yeah, yeah. but do, do you think he now knows that, like, man, I shouldn't have said that to Bolt? Or does he, No, no, no. I think he likes the do you, when when when, like when, he crit, when he trash talks the pros, does he know... That he's lying? No, I think he actually believes that. But right. he just ran 670. Does yeah, he still now, believe it? Now I think he doesn't. Okay, <laughs> think, so now he now realizes, it's, like, I'm uh, not that fast. Dude, and that makes him similar to all of us, yeah. right? We all think we could do what we did eight years ago, athletically. True. And, and then you actually put a watch on it, and then reality yeah. slaps you in the face. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I, I can't actually do that. But the thing to remember was, this doesn't mean he was slower in the past. His times are his times. We have his times. Yeah. Like, we know how fast he was. He chose football. He didn't choose track. Again, I think he could have he could have ma potentially made teams, right? Like Trinidad Holiday made teams, but that's a, a lot different from you're going to break a world record or you're going to be you know multiple time gold medalist.